Hi guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Um, so I'm here as you can see with my Alice in Wonderland mini album and I did a walkthrough of this previously um, and for some reason the video was erased. I don't know if I accidentally did it or I don't know what happened um, but it came to my attention a couple days ago. Uh, somebody wanted to see the completed walkthrough because I did do a tutorial on this album is the interactive mini album tutorial so i will put the links down below if you uh, want to check that out and give it a try um so i'm going to share again the completed album for of some of you who are doing the tutorial and want to see the end result um now this album i made for my daughter's birthday so it's a, it already has pictures on it so i'm happy to show it with you uh so you actually you can see how it looks like with pictures um i don't have the original version without the pictures but you can always go to my blog and you can see over there the still pictures that i took of the album itself uh, when i didn't have the pictures yet so with that said, I also think that it's really helpful for you to see how the actual, you know, the book actual looks like with pictures. I mean, it really comes to life and I absolutely love it much more when it has the pictures on it. So you will see. Now, let me show you how it looks from the top with the pictures at it. It opens up just a little bit because I did add a lot of pictures and all my pictures or most of my pictures were matted. Uh, which means it has an extra layer of cardstock behind them because the pictures were transferred from another scrapbook and they already had the frame that I that I did before so I just brought everything in so, and you'll see what I'm talking about so this is why it's extra super extra stuffy <laughs> okay so on the front cover i have a shaker as you can see and i fussy cut out the alice from the collection and um this is one of the four by six cards and then i did the shaker this shaker i believe is in a separate tutorial uh but um i will link everything down below so you guys can see um, on the spine over here whoops a little bit heavy it's a heavy album so on the spine i did this colorful um seam binding i wanted it to look happy and you know like messy on the side and then also i used my laminator and i laminated the ephemera card some of the ephemeras to create this cute little like keychain effect so we have little alice here and the queen and here is the king of hearts and here's alice reading her book and then here's another tag so i just run it through my laminator and then i fussy cut it around and this is how the back looks like which i love this paper and my daughter's favorite colors are black and pink and blue so this paper was absolutely perfect so the album makes sure it's eight by eight and now let me share with you the inside of the book okay so on the left here i have this uh this kind of like a little booklet attached to the book that opens different ways and this is actually a pocket but i didn't put anything in here i just put my daughter's picture this is the album when my daughter turned eight years old i can't believe it she's already 11 <laughs> but yeah so i made her outfit too it's so cute i was really into crocheting back then so i crocheted her top and then i did like a tool skirt but anyway so this is my daughter tessie and so the album opens up like this and then it opens up to this other side and then here she is i just I didn't have a lot of pictures that were like portraits so i did kind of not in order with the party but anyway so it opens up like this again and see this is what i mean like my pictures were already matted on cardstock so it's like especially this side here of the book this has a lot of volume a lot a lot of volume so that's why my album closes just a little tiny bit opens up like that so these are the cupcakes and this is the sign that i hand on the living room and then this opens i don't know if i show you this already but it opens up like that these are some cookies we made together and popcorn and then this opens up again and then here we are playing some games we were dancing and and this opens like so and then here 
I have a couple more pictures. Look at Tessie's face. So here I did not have enough pictures to put because this album takes a lot of pictures. So the places where I didn't have enough pictures, I just added more of the four by four by three cards just to complement the spaces because I really did run out of pictures for this book. Okay, so now back to this page over here. Here's again Alice reading her book, which is my favorite, favorite um, image from the collection. And then this opens up like this and like that. And it says, Emma turns eight. And these were transferred from stickers that I had previously done. A scrapbook album for her. I'm going to show you really quick. This is what I had done for her back in the day. And so all I did is just tickle all the pictures and... Put him here <laughs> so yeah so this is sweet birthday girl and i just love this picture of her and then this opens up again to the top and over here a picture of you know the table where the kids went and took their own pictures with the polaroid cameras and then here she is eating some popcorn and so oh and then this opens again so this is a very very interactive album here's she is with her friends and then this opens again. So, and in here you can actually crop two four by fours and they will totally fit. But I, like I said, I was struggling to get more pictures into this book because I didn't have enough pictures. So I just put them in the middle. So here are the picture of the favors and this is me and my girls on that banner where we put all our little Polaroids. So that closes up like that. And then each page has an insert. And I like to keep my inserts just black so they are no too thick after we put the picture. But I love that the picture had the cardstock mat. So, um, so it kind of looks like it's framed. Oh, and then here uh, we had like uh, canvases and the kids were just like painting their canvas. It was really cute. All right, so next over here this is i think one of my favorite pages on this book just because it's an idea that just came to me and i love how it turned out and i think it's really practical uh, so over here i have one of the four by three cards and this looks like an envelope but it's actually just like a little booklet it opens up like that there's magnets behind it and then you could see uh, the pictures here and this is big enough just to put a four by six but my pictures are a little bit smaller I think they're four by five and a half uh, so then what I like about this booklet is you can rotate it so you can see the actual orientation of the picture so you don't have to worry about putting landscape pictures or portrait pictures because this little booklet turns with you and here's another picture of the kids just like kind of dancing and here it says tea time it's always a great idea so then this finally closes up like that and then this page also opens up and again there's a lot a lot of room for pictures and these pictures are a little dark uh, but then here's my emma with her grandfathers grandfather grandmother we call him papa and nana <laughs> And I just love the combination of the colors on this album. This paper collection was so beautiful. So here is Alice again. And I love, like, it has, like, a hand-painted feel to her. It's so cute. And these are the adorable little brats from the collection as well. So then this is that pull-down waterfall. And you are going to see the pull-down waterfall full of pictures. And it almost looks like you are running a movie. So it's really cute. It's really cute to see it with pictures, huh? Compared to just like the paper. So it's so cute. So even if you put a, I was just thinking, I was showing my mom and my mom said, this looks like a movie. So if you put a picture and like, kind of like moving a little bit, you know how you take those shots that the phone just takes one, two, three, four, five or whatever. And if you put them here, it could almost look like a little movie. So this opens up again and then on the party we had a uh, story time where one of my little nieces read the Alice in Wonderland book. And then here is a little pocket and here all the kids listening to the story and this is me and Tessie looking at the book. And so that just sucks in right here. And then this is a sticker 
from the collection and this tones down and then over here there's a picture of Emma and my mom and it's just it looks so cute okay so then that goes back in here and the next page is actually it's like this so you can see the whole look but then you open this up and over here there is a little um, place for you know kind of like a hidden picture or a hidden me message so I just wrote this, some notes for my daughter so this one says curiouser and curiouser never stop exploring never stop learning try something new always be you so it's just a little message for her and I did not have enough pictures to put in here so anyway so this is a picture of her wearing her dress and she's kind of already coming apart so here i wrote another note for her using my white gel pen it says my sweet emma always remember to be kind and compassionate to others use your hands for helping and your mind to find the right words to speak with your heart love you endlessly mommy so it's just a little note so she can she can read it later on and just hopefully remember what mommy said <laughs> and then here's a picture of all of us by the cake and so this next page is super cute very interactive so i just put a picture here this measures four by four i think so this opens up like this and then this is one of those pop-up pages pop-up um card type thing and again it, this is all on the tutorial that i did and then because i didn't have tiny pictures i just put the pictures the images from alice itself but you can always put pictures here and here and you can actually put little two by two pictures in there but i didn't because i did not i had already the pictures printed out so i didn't have little pictures like that okay so moving on this page over here it opens up kind of like an envelope. Again, I'm using the little brats from the collection. And if I try to give you a close up, you can probably see Alice reading on this one and little flowers over there. So when we open these up and down, over here, I actually had a little waterfall on the tutorial and on the final walkthrough. But because I did not have enough pictures, I took the waterfall out and just put one picture of my daughter but you can most definitely keep the waterfall and just add more pictures if you have pictures to put in so this closes up like this and then in the insert here there are my daughters tessie and ariel they were reading the cards when emma was opening her presents so that goes right here okay so then let's move on to the next page. So this is another one of my favorite pages. This one is, but let me show you this one first. So over here we have the bunny and I wrote another message for my daughter. It says, Emma, made all your dreams come true and may you work hard to achieve them. Love you, mommy. So that's something that I tell them. You know, you dream up, but then you also have to do something to make your dreams come true because they're just not going to come true if you're sitting doing nothing about it. <laughs> so, okay, so we're going to open this up. And on the top here, I have a picture. This is just the living room with the snacks, but I wanted to see, uh, show you how this one fit a portrait picture. And here, another one of those beautiful cards from uh four by six cards and here's a little pocket and i should have put a message there i didn't see that so i might come back and do that and then here the kids were playing these uh what do you call this ariel the potato race uh. yeah so then it is this they are all of them playing here it was so much fun they did over and over and over again it was such a beautiful day so this goes like that and then this opens again and up here there is again a picture of my daughter my cousin and my niece and this over here is one of those pull down accordion um, envelope pockets so each one of these has a little picture on them and these ones were just like random 
um, kind of loose pictures that we can take off. So you're going to have to like keep them. So, but you get the point. So you get all the pictures in here. So there are six pictures there. And this closes up like this. And now we are on this page, which is another one of my super favorite pages. Because this is the page that has the little wheel. And as you can see here, this is a picture of Emma when she was just a week old. And she's so tiny and cute. And then we spin this around. And here she is when she is two or one and a half, something. <laughs> and then here she was like three maybe four <laughs> i don't remember exactly but i know here she was five and then this one she was probably seven almost well seven because on this birthday she was eight and then let me show you here how this is like a little accordion fall so you open it like this and this is the cake and we always bake our cakes i know it looks a little bit messy it was melting <laughs> But this is her sitting by her cake or taking a picture with the cake. And then we open it this way. And here she is when we are all singing happy birthday. And she just looks so happy. I want to give you a close up. Huh? It's, it's a little bit dark because it's always dark when we do happy birthday because we turn off the lights. Uh, and then here she is like we're singing happy birthday and blowing her candle. I can't believe she's so she's 11 already. That makes me sad. <laughs> Happy but sad. Okay, so, and then the insert here, she started opening her presents. And yeah, so then the next page, these are the last two pages. And again, I love, love, love the color combinations of this album. So this is tea time. So this opens up like that. It's just an envelope. And then we ju I just put a couple of pictures of her opening her presents. And those go right in here. And then this has a little brats. So this opens up like this. And here she is again. Love her face. And then it closes and it latches here with a couple of magnets here. And I think there's another magnet behind there. And then this opens up. And there she is opening more presents. I always take a lot of pictures opening presents because that's the only time she will sit still and I can actually take pictures. Because other than that, it's kind of... She doesn't like me running behind her taking pictures all day. So, okay. And then this is the last one, which I absolutely love this page. This, again... I came out with this idea as I was doing the tutorial because I had something completely different in mind. But, um, but so this is kind of like a mixture of that uh, pull down waterfall and an easel car. So you pull it down just a little bit and then you can see the picture here and I have the cute little brats in here. And then this picture will actually, if you pull it just enough right there, it will, oh, it's not doing it right now, but it will stay up there just like that it's too heavy with the pictures but anyway so this will stay up and these also open so she, she was happy with it getting all this money and then here it says nothing is impossible so this opens up like that so yeah look at her face she's so happy so yeah so if you pull these up a little bit this could oops got stuck in here this could stay up i mean if you really wanted to to leave it up there um i don't know to put in your living room or something but i just might as well close it and yeah so that is the interactive alice in wonderland mini album i have a full tutorial that i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys want to try it yourself it is a long tutorial because i believe it's either three or four parts but um i think it's very well explained and you can definitely do it yourself so i want to thank you so much for watching i apologize for uh losing that video erasing the video uh, i don't know what happened but here you go now you have it with some pictures and you can see a little bit of my daughter growing up and i hope that you guys enjoy this video and have a wonderful day see you next time Bye bye